Welcome to the Party Trick Podcast, where we inspire and empower you to elevate every day. How to host sustainably this holiday season. This is the time of year where there's so much waste and excess that it can kind of be cringeworthy. So I like to go into the season thinking about how can I be a little bit more gentle on Mother Earth and be a little bit more sustainable. Okay, a couple of my favorite hacks. One, people never get as much as you think they're going to at events. So don't over-prepare. Have that backup ready, right? So you're not throwing away as much food waste. So a lot of times I'll host, I put out what I think people are going to have. And if I'm afraid it's not enough, what I was going to kind of add to it, I have staged, ready, but not yet cooked. So I can kind of quickly gauge and then throw it in the oven if I need to. But if not, then I'm not creating something that's just going into the garbage thereafter. I try to source locally as possible for as many things as possible. So if there's still farmer's markets or seasonal markets going on, go and try that. Check it out. Okay, here's a weird one that most people don't think about. Plan ahead. And not for the reason that I would normally tell you. The reason I'm saying plan ahead is so you're not overnighting stuff from Amazon the night before. That is really, really impactful. Tons of additional boxes, stuff flying all over the country. When if you thought in advance, you probably could have ordered these things. The other part of that, uh, if you're not planning ahead, you go and just bulk buy everything. Or what am I going to call it? Bulk buy, you're going to emergency buy, right? I think we've all been guilty, myself very much included in this, where you realize, oh my goodness, I've got people coming over tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to run out to Target or I'm going to run to wherever and buy everything in sight because if you never know, I might need it, right? One, you're wasting money. Two, you're buying stuff that now you may have to go back and return. You may end up just trash. Or like it just sits there unused and it's totally unnecessary and very unsustainable. So if you're planning ahead about what you actually need, you're not gonna overbuy, you're not gonna waste money, you're not gonna be running around like chicken with your head cut off. So that actually has a bigger impact than you realize. I also really recommend buying classic items that you can use over and over again. So that white ceramic tray, it's going to come in handy. Now you can line it with, I actually love using kind of cocktail napkins as a liner because you can mix and match those over and over. Um, you can put a really festive seasonal garnish on the side. So kind of like the holly or do juniper on the side or some pine. You do a little side with cranberries, something that's going to feel very kind of Christmas and festive because you have that white base, right? You have that foundation that you can use over and over. You're not buying stuff that just sits in a closet to be used once. Now, I love that. I have my Christmas stuff that comes out, but I'm not doing that over and over and over again. I do buy and recommend that if you want to be more sustainable, buy one set, have it be kind of like that signature that can go from occasion to occasion and you can dress it up for summer, dress it up for winter. And yeah, then throw your little festive seasonal components in there. So that time is that classic is really going to help. Other sustainability tips, recycle. And actually, if you're going to have people help at your house or even guests, make sure you're educating people. This is garbage, this is recycling. I used to have large, large events that we would do. Um, when I was planning for others, I would have a big garbage dumpster and a recycling dumpster. Even with signs, people would put stuff in the wrong area. Put the garbage in the recycling, and now you can't recycle it. So, however you can, and in the home environment, it's a little bit different. Put signage. If you have any support staff that's coming in to help, whether it's just, you know, a dedicated teenager or whether it's um, having a housekeeper, if you educate them, then they actually will toss appropriately, right? They're going to throw away things and then they'll recycle things. Also, all of the scraps that you have, get creative. I have a great chef friend who is really all about what can you do with those food scraps? Can you make a really delicious veggie rice? Could you make, you know, something else out of it? If so, do so. If not, totally understandable, compost or, or trash it based on where you are and what your practices are. But those are some pretty easy, sustainable tips to set you up for success with a slightly gentler impact this holiday season. Thank you so much for joining us on the Friday Show.